Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon. So just a little bit ago, we got an insanely huge bombshell detailing a bunch of leaked Ghost Recon details for the next mainline entry in the Ghost Recon franchise. We're talking about details about core gameplay mechanics as well as location details and other things and we're going to be going down through all of that here in today's video. Do take note that this is coming from Tom Henderson, so this is a leak. This is nothing official from the official Ghost Recon developers, but he has been known to be a credible source in the gaming community. So do take what he is saying here with a grain of salt, but there is a possibility that some of the details that we're going to be talking about here today are true. Who knows? Only time will tell. But real quick before we hop into it, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. Also, I do apologize. My voice is starting to go. I'm a little bit under the weather, but we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. So I will link the full article down below, but it reads as follows. Not much is currently known about the next mainline Ghost Recon game, apart from it being in development under the project name Over. Previously, Insider Gaming reported that the game would be set during the fictional name in War. Speaking with sources under the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to talk about the game yet, Insider Gaming has the scoop on more details on what the new game entails. Currently, the next Ghost Recon title is aimed to be released in 2025 or 2026, which will see the Ghost Recon franchise head back into a first-person perspective. And I'll be honest here, I'm not exactly sure how I want to feel about that because me personally, the Ghost Recon franchise needs to stay third-person. There are so many cool mechanics with the Ghost Recon franchise being in third person. How many other third person tactical shooters are there on the market? To be honest, off the top of my head, I can't think of one other than Ghost Recon. Obviously, you have SOCOM back in the day. But personally, I feel like this is going to be a huge mistake moving forward. Especially being the fact that there are so many other first person tactical shooters on the market with Ready or Not, you have Escape from Tarkov, you have Call of Duty in, in its own right, you know, it's obviously first person, um, you have Squad, you have Insurgency Sandstorm, there's a number of games that are, have that first person perspective tactical shooter, and especially with the new one coming out with Grey Zone Warfare, that's also a first person tactical shooter, I just feel like they should have stayed in their own lane, if this is all to be true. Um, they definitely should have stayed in third person, but we'll continue on with the article here. Um, and it goes on to say that the game is poised to be a squad based military tactical shooter, almost milsim like in nature, which that that I'm, I'm totally for that. It definitely needs to get away from the arcade style that uh, the last two games have been, um, as long as they don't go too milsim, because I feel like that'll turn some people off. It also goes on to say that it will take inspiration from some of the leading first person military games, including the Modern Warfare series. Battlefield, Squad, and Ready or Not. Project Over is set during the Naaman War, which is located in a hostile southeast country that has seen hundreds of thousands of people die as a result of war crimes. It's understood that the plot of the game evolves around the ghosts, your team infiltrating the war zone to carry out secret missions and to locate a traitor. So this, this sounds good. This is more of what the ghosts should be doing. They should be infiltrating an active war zone carrying out secret missions that's what they're for that is the main objective of the ghosts and with the prior two games with wildlands yeah you could kind of say that it was um with ghost recon breakpoint i wouldn't say that's that's kind of the thing that they followed in that game but seeing a return to you know infiltrating a war zone to carry out secret missions i'm all for that just not in the first person perspective um, but as the article goes on, it says the game appears to take heavy inspiration from the Modern Warfare series with some potential dark or controversial missions and segments. One mission, for example, shows your squad nearly shooting a man holding a baby because they thought the baby was a bomb, but they realized this at the last second. That is almost straight out of the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign, but that's neither here nor there. They also go on to say that graphically the footage provided to Insider Gaming under the condition that the footage isn't shared or that the footage does not go public, shows a significant graphical improvement over its predecessors and is best compared to something akin to Ready or Not. I'll be honest, that sounds good, being the fact that it's been, what, almost five years since Ghost Recon, let's see, that came out in 2019, so yeah, it'll be five years this year since Breakpoint's release. If they're taking their time, graphically, the game should be a massive improvement from those games. It'll just be curious to see 
um, how they do it with the first person perspective. Um, but that is all the information that came from the article. Please let me know your thoughts on all of this down below. Are you guys a keen to a first person perspective return for the Ghost Recon franchise? Would you rather see it remain in third person like me? I'm curious to see how the customization would be because if it's first person, how would you do like the character customization? Because with Breakpoint and Wildlands, the main point of that was you could kit out your character however you wanted because you could see your character on screen. If you can't see your character on screen in the first person perspective, I'm curious to see what route they go with that. But, and I'm definitely curious to see the community's reaction to this because I'll be honest, I am kind of upset that it's returning to first person. There's plenty of other first person games out there. They had the entire genre of the third person tactical shooter to themselves. So I'm not entirely sure on why this flip in direction, especially when we had the last Ghost Recon game that was uh, Ghost Recon Frontline. There were an insane amount of people that didn't want to see that game because it was a first person battle royale and then the game got canceled. So maybe they're not learning from their mistakes. Who knows? I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think about this down below in the comments. But overall, that is going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you are excited about the new information surrounding the Ghost Recon franchise, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on everything surrounding the Ghost Recon franchise here on the channel moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Shit, the buyer's on the move. Get after him. Got eyes on the buyer. Careful who you shoot. We still need that scumbag alive. Coopere todo saldra bien. Get him. Pero por favor, por favor, no me lastime. I'm just a businessman. Boston Reed, where is he? I don't know where he is, okay? Everything goes through his middleman. I make an order and he delivers it, that's it. An order for what? People, okay? Men, women, you know. What happens to these people you buy? Depends. Most of the girls end up as sex slaves. The men get put to work. Some just get cut up and used for their organs. You know how much a young kidney's worth? Holy shit. You I'll show cash. him sex Usually, slave. Yeah. Fucking suitcases full. Usually? Last time I came up short, it was a rush order, and I didn't have enough money on hand. Had to wire the rest to one of Reed's <laughs> bank accounts. Motherfucker was pissed. But what else could I do? I want the name of the bank and the account number. Sure, yeah. I I'll write it down, and then we're done here, right? You go your way, and I go mine, right? I'm starting to put the pieces together. I'll upload the bank info to Bowman. Between that and the list of villages targeted by Reed's people, she ought to be able to come up with some solid leads. Yeah, I need to do that too because I'm rocking a sniper.